Cruiser Wander, this is UAS-1. We've located the missing child near White Building at 1724 South Capitol Street, Southwest. MPD's drone program is taking flight. The new tool for the city will serve as a cost-effective force multiplier for public safety and will be an asset to responding to incidents across the city. From finding a missing person, to searching for a suspect, to documenting a major crash scene and more, the program will give a bird's eye view to on-scene commanders and officers in real time. 1051, 1052, 1053. Respond to the intersection of Essendon Sam Street Southwest and Water Street Southwest for a report of a critical missing 11-year-old. First arriving officers begin searching the area for a missing 11-year-old. Based on policy, officials classify this incident as a critical missing person with a command post and request additional units to the scene to assist with the search. The first district's watch commander arrives on the scene and determines that MPD's unmanned aircraft systems would be helpful in the search. Hey, so what we got? All right, I think we got to get the UAS to respond. I think that's a good idea. Under MPD policy, only the Special Operations Division Commanding Official or another Homeland Security Bureau official at the rank of inspector or above, in consultation with the UAS program manager, can approve deployments. Cruiser 800, we're on the scene of a missing 11-year-old, S Street Southwest and Water Street Southwest. We're requesting the UAS unit to respond to the scene and assist with the search. Copy, Cruiser 100. Your request for UAS deployment is approved. UAS-1 will be responding. UAS-1, respond for an approved UAS deployment for a missing person critical with a command post at the intersection of S Street Southwest and Water Street Southwest. Meet Cruiser 100 and 1D units on the scene. The UAS team comprised of the remote pilot in charge, or the RPIC for short, and a visual observer respond to the scene. The RPIC and visual observer perform a safety check and go over a checklist prior to the drone flight. That checklist includes obtaining clearance from the Federal Aviation Administration, checking the battery levels of the controller and the UAS battery, a visual check to make sure the drone is not damaged and safe to fly, then confirming the connectivity between the UAS and controller and determining the takeoff and landing zone. The RPIC is required to notify MPD's real-time crime center prior to the flight. The RTCC notifies MPD's communication staff stationed inside the RTCC. Upon receiving a notification, the Office of Communications will notify the public in the area of the flight through Alert DC and on MPD's social media platforms. Cruiser Wander, this is UAS-1. We've located the missing child near White Building at 1724 South Capitol Street, Southwest. MPD's UAS program is yet another tool that advances our officers' ability to serve and protect the residents, businesses, and visitors in the District of Columbia. Learn more about MPD's UAS program at mpdc.dc.gov slash drones.